Welcome everybody to another chaotic lore video. Today we'll be discussing one of my favorite underworld locations. Underworld City. Underworld City is the capital of the Underworld tribe. The area is located on an extent cavern near Iron Pillar. Living in the underworld is harsh. Lots of the underworld tribe operate on the survival of the fittest mentality. The landscape itself is harsh with the tremors, cave-ins, and fire geysers. Whenever there are disputes between two or more underworlders, the only trial is by combat. Whatever argument that was had, the winner whether right or wrong, won the argument. This is similar to how Vikings used to settle disputes called the Humgang, or the Humgang. In the early days of the underworld, there was constant fighting that threatened the underworld civilization. So Kaor decided to erect a coliseum where he's usually the judge this was the best way as on uh this is the best way as an underworld leader to have some level of civility. The Colosseum operates the same way as the gladiatorial arenas in ancient Rome. Any underworlder participating is allowed one battle gear and one music each. The most famous Colosseum battle was between Dardamus and Miklon. A long time ago, they a long time ago they were arguing who turn it was for guard duty in the pits. It got so out of hand that Kaor ordered them to settle it in the Colosseum. The fight lasted eight days before both of them collapsed from exhaustion. By then. The spectators already left, and the fighters eventually forgot what was the argument about. Speaking of the pits, you might find this strange, but yes, even in the underworld, there's prisons. Despite the general nature of the underworld tribe, there are some even worse. If not outright killed inmates who either didn't abide by chaos rule or was so dangerous it threatened any and everything uh, in the path in his path are sentenced even among the underworlds there are the worst of the worst such as the sinister strike toe who was once recruited by Takinam to serve Kaor, but for some unknown reason, he was in prison. Most likely due to his wild nature, he disobeyed Kaor too many times or even attacked him. The pits is located deep in a cavern underneath the underworld, not too far from the city. Dardamus and Mechlon our guardsmen patrolling the ground. Raren patrols the air. Rook trains new guards. And finally, Toxis guards the entrance. His foul breath kept most from coming in or out of the pits. The pit is the most dangerous prison in Param. Similar to how Guantanamo Bay and years ago, Alcatraz is considered the most dangerous prisons in the world. The pits are in the Alliance Unravel set. The city itself carries a gothic nature that fits the concept for the landscape. Although in many respects, Underworld City and even Underworld as a whole gives the fictitious appearance of hell in Christianity or Hades in Greek myth. This is made more apparent when Kaor himself is like the Lucifer of the tribe. 
many underworld creatures do have some demonic qualities. Chaos Castle sits at the center of the city where he reigns. However, his rule is always threatened by the sinister Lord Von Blute. He also has subjects who opposes Chaos rule. Unlike Kaor, Von Blue has no honor. He has his own castle called Gothel's Tower that's on the outskirts of the Underworld. The Underworld was in many civil wars between these two leaders until Lord Von Blue lost power after the Marillion invasion. Gothel's tower bears a resemblance to Count Dracula's castle in Wallachia, but fitting to the vampiric myth. In some aspects, this makes Von Blue something like Dracula being able to use the tower in his favor. You can find many of these locations in the Dawn of Paramset. Chaotic players known to have Underworld City in their decks are Kaz, Clay, and Cristela because they are considered the few of the best Underworld players. A long time ago in past Param, the Underworld was ruled by the Underworld fiend Kal. He ruled through fear and he had some power to back it up. Call enslaved many overworlders to mine Vlaric shards. Kaor's ancestor Kiru tried to negotiate for the release of his overworld people in exchange for the Oriklon, but Call went back on his end of the bargain. This resulted in an unseen fight between Kiru and Call. Since Call was never seen again and Kaor is ruler of the present day underworld city, it's safe to assume that Kiru won the battle, but at a heavy cost. In Season 1, the Underworld was more or less running like it's supposed to. At the time, K.R. had to worry about the feud between Von Blute, other enemy tribes such as Overworlders, Danians, and Mapedians, but your average day in the underworld is an occasional scuffle between underworlders over petty arguments. In season two, things changed when the Marillion Fall Four arrived. After failing to trick Kaor into opening the doors of the deep mines, he tricked Von Blute into opening it, therefore releasing the Marillions. The Lost Tribe wreaked havoc on most of Param trying to flood it. They managed to terraform most of the underworld as well, such as the Lava Pond. If you want to hear my history of the original Lava Pond, watch my earliest Chaotic Lore video of this location. But thanks to the combined efforts of all other tribes, Aun, the leader of the Marillions, was defeated and most of the Marillions retreated back to the deep mines, thus averting any further damage to not only the underworld, but all of Param. In season three, relationships between the tribes has been strengthened after the war with the Marillions. So much so, the tribes celebrated their victory with a race called the Perithion. Although most of the races were cheating so their tribe can be champion, thus resulting the tribe leaders arguing. There's less tribal conflict than it used to be, but there was an occasional fight with certain creatures that might still harbor grudges for other creatures. Even so, this doesn't rise to the level of all out war. Underworld City Initiative Speed When an underworld creature attacks, the attack perform gains challenge power 15, deal 5 damage. Flavor text reads, Not known for his creativity, Kaor nevertheless won the capital naming contest for which he was also the judge. 
Underworld City, Von Blue Ascension, Initiative Courage. Creatures not named Lord Von Blue loses 10 courage. Attacks played by minions gain courage plus 15. Deal 5 damage. Gothos Tower, Initiative Speed. All creatures not named Lord Von Blue lose 10 courage. Lord Von Blue gains invisibility, strike 15. Flavor text reads The horrific home of the harrowing Lord Von Blute. Just for fun, I'll include the original Love Upon for you guys. Love Upon, initiative speed. Fire attacks deal an additional 5 damage. Damage dealt by air attacks is reduced by 5. Magmon gains 5 fire. Love upon Marillion's foothold. Initiative power. When this becomes the active location, each player re reveals a random music card from their hand. Cards with the same name as the revealed cards may not be played this turn. Marillion and minion creatures take five less damage from music and abilities. Underworld Coliseum. Initiative speed. All creatures with elemental type fire deal an additional 10 damage on their first attack. Underworlders have a simple way of settling arguments here. The one left standing always right is always right. Flavor text. The pits. Initiative fire. Engaged creature gains outperform power 5. Damage dealt by speed attacks is reduced by 5. Flavor text reads, The Underworlders are fair. All are guilty until proven innocent. And finally, Doors of the Deep Mines. Initiative speed. At the beginning of combat, all creatures with elemental type water gain 10 energy. Flavor text reads, In a rare sign of solidarity, all four tribes guard the massive doors, hoping they never open again. And that is the Underworld City. If you like this video and you want to learn more about certain characters, creatures, and so on in the chaotic card game or series, please leave a comment below. Let me know and I'll put it on the list. But do me a huge favor, leave a like and subscribe to Talkative Carl on YouTube and Twitch, where I stream many video games. You can always join me live on Twitch and chat with me. And I will see you guys next time for more chaotic lore. Take care and be safe.